Backers of a controversial bill aimed at requiring background checks at gun shows want another crack at making it state law. But does it have a shot this year? News 13's Alex Goldsmith has that story. Dean, last year the Firearm Transfer Act had bipartisan support among lawmakers and even the governor was backing the effort. But this year, even that might not be enough. It was just months after the mass school shooting in Connecticut when New Mexico's big gun control battle opened up. Representative Miguel Garcia introduced HB 77, a proposal that would require a criminal background check to buy a gun at a gun show. Governor Martinez and several key Republicans backed a compromise version of the Democrats' bill, helping pass it out of the House. It's a good bill. It's a good compromise bill. Uh, it, it had buy-in from, from all of the, the key stakeholders. But many senators were skeptical. I don't think it does what, uh, what people uh, would hope it would do, which would be to make our community safer. And the bill stalled short of the governor's desk. Now Garcia is trying again with HB 44. Fellow Democrat Jacob Candelaria is on board. I think questions about the proper balance between public safety and the rights of gun owners are of critical importance uh, to the state of New Mexico and it's something we should take up this 30-day session. Because it's a 30-day session, Governor Martinez determines whether the bill will be heard this year or not. But with her re-election bid around the corner, will she? In a statement, a Martinez spokesperson says the governor hasn't decided one way or the other, citing bigger priorities like getting a balanced budget passed. The governor does still support the legislation. On top of requiring background checks, the bill tightens up reporting requirements so that those with mental illness show up in the federal background check system. Back to you. Alex, thank you. The legislative session starts at noon, January 21st. 6,000 New Mexicans will lose their unemployment.